Hey guys, and welcome back to our Stranded Deep Let's Play. This is episode 3, and we have found a rather huge island, and I cannot find the uh, raft anymore. I don't know where it went, so I parked it on the land, and now it's gone, it seems. Had a time out of sight. We found duct tape as well. And that was under water in a uh, shipwreck, and I don't know what else I can do here because I gotta find that raft. It was my raft. I can't visit other islands without it. I did turn up some of the settings because there was a lot of negative comments on episode 2. So hopefully this fixes it, but I am noticing a lot more lag on the recording as I thought it would be alright well I give up I can't find my raft anywhere so we're gonna go ahead and uh... yeah Explain some of the new things we found out. If you open your watch or look at your watch with the F key, you can uh, left click and it will show you your food and water and health meter. And then left click, click again and it puts you back. So we're pretty hungry, so we're going to get us some of that fruit. Also, for those uh, watching that one video where the guy says that you can press S to back down those trees after you climb them, that is not true. You can still fall by pressing S. It will push you backwards so far that you'll fall. I've tested it, and that's exactly what happens. So something else that I noticed when you actually cut the tree, it kind of shows it like it does in uh, the forest, as you see there. After you drink the coconut, always break it because it's also food. I'm not intentionally throwing that down. <laughs> it keeps happening. That is not our original paddle either, that is a new one we found on this exact island. And it's a pretty big island, so we're gonna call it home. And it looks like I'm alright for now on food and water. Wanna start building a uh, foundation of building and kinda make a uh, storeroom for our uh, food supply. So food supply is important. I 
Also, learn that uh, right click can drag the items to any way you want. You can drag a whole tree if you want. And if you cut them into logs and then drag them on top of each other, you don't have to worry about throwing the sticks down because it'll automatically highlight them all. As you will see here in a minute. That's all there is to it. And the walls take two of those palm leaf things and four sticks. And I don't know how big we can make them, but I'm hoping it's pretty good size. And I'm gonna have to build us our own raft, because I can't find the yellow raft for the life of me. If I do find it, then I will use it. If not, well, yeah. Also, for those freaking out about placing a foundation too high, you can make stairs. And they're basically, well, it's kind of like a ladder, but I think they're called stairs. And it's just sticks. If you pile like six or seven sticks on there. Not seven, but yeah. You get the picture. Just pile sticks on the platform and it'll highlight it. Looks like we need more sticks. Awesome animation with that. And I'll just pile, er, pile the tree on the pile here, and it should automatically highlight all of the parts as I chop them up. makes things so much easier than taking four sticks at a time and then dropping them that way. And those with buckets, you can use the buckets to fill up your water bottle. some lag here. I think it's too many stakes. <laughs> So yeah, we have found our home island, and we will search around and see what we can find. We're gonna have to find more rocks though. If there aren't any rocks on this island, there is two pretty close islands over that way, I think. These sticks are really killing my frame rate, so I gotta do something with this. There we go. Much better.
Looks like we need one more stick for another foundation. I'm gonna try to probably make it like 4x4 four four, just so it's big enough for a actual storeroom. Because I plan on putting a lot of stuff in there. Or a lot of food, rather. There was a rock in the way, so it wasn't letting me place it for the, in front of those. Get our coconuts. We're gonna need quite a few of these to actually fill up our meters there. Alright, good on water. Oh, our health is dropping. I don't know how to uh, patch any wounds. It's kind of what I'm worried about here. I'm probably gonna die again. This guy is a pig, man. I know if I ate that many coconuts, I'd be full. That was a lot of coconut. We don't want trees near our house. Or our storeroom, rather. Our house will be on the other side there. Right over there, probably. Looks like we need to go find some rope. There's some. That was the plan. Also guys, earlier I said that you had to manually click it, uh, apparently you can just hold in the button, hold on the left mouse button, and that should do it automatically and it's pretty quick.
I'm gonna search the island for one of those stakes. Didn't have to go too far. Got our axe back. Okay, now to continue what we were doing and making it two by two. I don't think there's actually a limit to how many of them you can put on a single building platform thing. Like how many foundations you put together, I don't know. I haven't tried any further than the last time because I didn't know what I was doing, but now I kind of have somewhat of a clue after watching other people's videos. They seem to just make theirs like one by two or two by one. But yeah, I'm gonna make a storehouse. I'm actually gonna be able to hold it all. All right, we got a two by two. Okay, so eating and keeping your bars full actually improves the uh, health or blood meter, whatever that is. I don't know. It looks like a health meter to me, but yeah. Could just be something completely different. But yeah, eating filled them up for me, so it probably fills them up for everybody. So guys, don't let your food drop below half or anything like that, because yeah, it's going to starve you. Which is never fun. The watch also predicts how the weather will be, so it shows you in a little tiny icon. As you see on the top right there. When it's nighttime, it shows the moon. When it's nighttime with clouds, it shows the moon with a cloud. Or rain, similar to the forecast icons. It's perfectly the same. I also don't know how big of rafts you can make, but I know you can put one of those foundations into the water to make a raft with that. I don't know if you can take more than one. But you can't seem to move them after their place, so that's not going to happen. And I don't know if you can attach them to the raft once it's in the water. I would assume they would let you make bigger rafts, because that's a pretty tiny raft.
So we got wall support, roof and foundation. The roof is four and four, the wall is four and two. And supports are just one stick, of course. Actually, we're gonna go with a three by two and then have like the uh, front balcony part. that we can walk up on and sit there. Kind of like an actual, yeah, beach house. That'd be cool. Here's our last step for the actual building. It is possible to expend all resources, so if you cut down all trees before letting them grow back, it kinda ruins your hope of survival on said island. So you gotta be slow about it guys. Don't wanna rush and just build everything and then leave no trees cause then you'll have to sell to other islands to get the logs and stuff. And then you can only carry four sticks at a time with that uh, per slot. Also learned about the crabs and uh, you need a campfire to cook them and then you just right click and it'll toss them onto the fire and then you wait until they're like black <laughs> quite literally and then you can eat them safely I do like that light clipping it clips through the axe it's so cool Alrighty guys, so that's going to be it for episode 3. Hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am, and uh, yeah, hopefully the graphics look better once it's uploaded, but I'm not too sure. I have changed several of the settings to try and make it as best as I can, and yeah, if you guys are liking it, leave that like, and yeah, comments are always welcome, good or bad. And they help me figure out what's wrong with my videos and what needs to be done to kind of make them better. Comments are always good. And I will see you guys next time for episode 4.